In this series of videos, I'm going to be showing step by step on how I assemble a short block, uh, a long block, and then ultimately install it. Uh, this setup is going to be going in a 99 Mustang GT. It's an aluminum block. This is a NEMAC block. And I'm uh, going to use PI heads up the compression a little bit, uh, ARP studs. And uh, it should be fun, so stay tuned. So let's take a look at what we got. We got here's our NEMAC block. This is an aluminum 4.6 block that was found in some of the later 2000 models. You can tell that it's a NEMAC by the, the emblem on here. This engine has been painted uh, previously, I'm not sure why, so we paint aluminum block. You can see it looks kind of similar to a watt block. I've, I've grinded off the, the bungs for the knock sensors. And there's the other side of it. These are the engine blocks that Ford Racing used uh, for a long time for their Illuminator engines. Uh, arguably, some will say that this block is better than the Texid block, but I think it's all just a matter of preference. You can see on the inside, it's pretty, pretty heavy duty. It's got the, the four bolts on the mains, just like a Texid block. These drain backs look a little bit larger than what's on the Texan. Nemax only got the one freeze plug on the sides. And this block is about 75 pounds, which is roughly half the weight of a iron block. And I'm gonna be using manly connecting rods, uh, part number 14042R-8. These ones have the ARP 2000 rod bolts you can see and for pistons I'm going to be using the platinum series manly with manly stainless steel uh, piston rings these are 20 over all this has already been balanced for fasteners, using ARP, so ARP main studs, and King bearings, these are HP series, they're high performance series. As far as crankshafts go, this is a non-forged 4.6 crank out of a uh, GT. So here it is, here's everything that's going to be installed in the short block. Uh, the next few videos are going to be uh, how I go about doing that.